Shata Kapo there responding to some questions and um, allegations about Shatawale and Michi's breakup and matters arising. And his, his point or his opinion is that he thinks the two were not compatible. And I'm asking that. Is this from a PR point of view or reality talk from uh, son to father? And the man is also sharing that with us. Ru, you can start this. Uh, I, mean, I, I think this is a reality talk. In fact, mm. yeah, yeah. Shata and Michi. Oh yeah, yesterday, yesterday I and I would want to believe that even at this point, yes, I will not rule out the fact that these are human beings and human beings we sometimes change change any other like at any point in time. I will not rule that fact out, but I would also want to believe that now they both have understood the fact that there are some things as much as probably we would wish that we were together. There are some differences that we both can't get over. Because yesterday I observed something at the rhythms on the runway. Mm -hmm. Shatawale was there, he came to perform. Michi was there. In fact, while Shata was performing, Michi unfortunately was outside doing a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And because some of the screens were also mounted outside, so you, you can see whatever is going on in the auditorium. So when Michi saw Shata performing, she actually wanted to finish her photo shoot or whatever interview she was doing and i i had overheard her asking somebody ah, is shutter still around mm -hmm. because she even wanted to go and see the performance mm -hmm. but shutter's performance was very brief and he he left the moment he was that he just entered into his car and just left the whole uh, auditorium so i i would i i would want to think that and looking at even the angles that the, some of the statements coming from michi in recent times you know, after calling for prayers for Shatawale, when Shatawale <laughs> came to respond, Michi also came back again <laughs> to, to, to also respond to Shatawale's response when she said that people should uh, pray for Shatawale. And clearly, that is, out of that statement, I am tempted to believe what Regan said the other day that Michi seems to be mocking Shatawale in some light. I, I would want to share that angle because... Even her response was not, was, was like, okay, me, I just care about you. That's why I, I am seeing whatever you are going through, and I'm saying people should, should uh, pray for you. Yes, you are saying I don't call you. So if I don't call you, does that mean that I don't have the right to, to wish you well or to call for prayers for you and all that? You, you, you understand? So, mm -hmm. And these are statements that are coming from Michi. Okay. So I, I would want to think that for somebody who probably wish or has a wish of them coming back together as they were, wouldn't be making such utterances, especially in public, but rather would want to make it private even before when it escalates, then she goes public with it or something. And I wouldn't want her to be coming, the first point of call wouldn't be in a public domain making such utterances. Mm -hmm. And even when you look at their demeanor, especially when they are around the same environment, you realize that these people have gotten over themselves. These people have gotten over themselves, and it is clear that the only thing that is keeping them aside their son is the shatter name. Mm. Is the mm. shatter name because mm. Michi cannot also take away the fact that wherever she goes, one one of fifty percent of her relevance is that shatter tag. That's true. She, she can't run away from yeah. that fact. 50% of her relevance in the mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. is, is out of that shutter tag. Yeah, that so, so I would want to agree with the dad that this is a statement coming from the, fa uh, the son, especially since the fact that they are very close. Mm -hmm. He's closer mm -hmm. to the son mm -hmm. than the... the they, they, they really vibe. Ex mm -hmm. Exactly. So mm -hmm. this is a conversation that I would think have gone on. And he, if I watched the full interview where he, he even said that Michi was introduced to him even by a friend who was rather dating Michi before Shatawale came to meet Michi. I see. You understand? So to him... Could, could that be our guy? Um, Apache. Apache. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, did not, he, did not, he did not mention the name though. So, so in, the, in that light, I, I would want to believe that this is somebody, a grown-up person, who, who knew the girl and the son also has said something about that same girl and could connect some of these dots and know that okay if i knew her to be this way 
she came closer to my son, they bonded and they are now apart. And in my son's explanation, has also given me some one or two that probably I would think in my experience, even in marriage and relationship, would think that, okay, with, with these kind of differences, these two people can't be compatible. Then he would definitely come and say this, even regardless of whether it is true or not. But I would want to base it on a conversation he's had with his son. Okay. Uh, Roland Amate's opinion there. Chemo, come through. Uh, yeah. Let me get your opinion on this as well. Yeah, I, I, I will agree with Shatakapo to some extent. Uh, the part that he said that uh, their character is not clicking, like they, they are not compatible when you look at their character, and that one is obvious. But uh, it doesn't mean that they can't come back together, especially when you look at Michi's behavior, the, the kind of behavior that Michi uh, is putting up. Yes. You may see it as uh, she's mocking Shata, or maybe uh, she's doing it in a way that she thinks that she will catch attention of Shata. Just that, in, in my opinion, she's not doing it right. She's just not doing it right. That's that's all. When you look at like Shata caught him. I mean, when he said that you are not even calling me, why do you then? call for prayers on, on for my behalf. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and the point is, yes, if you think you wish him well or something, why don't you call him and see whether indeed he needs prayers or something else. But rather you call for prayer for him. And when he comes out to respond that no, you are not doing it right, then you go back and say, don't I have the right to uh, wish you well or something. Yes, you have the right to wish him well, but do it the right way. Mm -hmm. we, we've been telling people that, yes, your good intention is not enough. Yeah, you may have, matter. yes, mm -hmm. you, you may have good intention for him, but your action is uh, doing different. Yeah. different. It's proven uh, uh, in otherwise. otherwise. Mm -hmm. So why then do you do that? So me, I think she's not doing her things right. Not that uh, she doesn't care about Shatawali. And, and the fact that even the name Shata Wale goes with her wherever she goes. So if Shata brand is going down, she will be going down too. And then her statement that whatever happens to Shata Wale may affect her and her child is also true. So I'm not seeing it as uh, she's trying to mock him. Rather, she's not doing it the right way. That's how I see it. And their character is not... Uh, their character, their characters are not matching, and 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 the reason is that Michi also tried to occupy a space, and it, it makes it look like now she's fighting or she's competing with Shatter for the same space. Because now she's coming out more, she's also saying more things. Obviously, it will be like a competition between you guys, and if let, let's say they come back together. And then Michi will go on the show and it's Shatawali is talking. How is she going to treat it? And then she will say, <laughs> she will, Yes, she will say something and later come home and fight with Shata or what? Like, how, is, how will it go and all that? So I think she's not doing certain things right. And now it looks like the, the character is in conflict. Like, the Michi's character and that of Shatawali. That's the issue now. But me, her statement is something to still catch attention of Shatawali. And she's not doing it right, if that's the direction that she wants to go. In fact, me, for me, if she has uh, gotten over it, she wouldn't be even make, making anything that will connect her to Shatawali. If she's still going that direction, it means she still needs that attention. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 You know, so for the character so far, they are not matching, and I will agree with Shata Kapo. But as to whether because of that they, they will not come back together, it's another thing. Uh, if Shata Michi does her things well, I think things will things they might still change. come yeah. back together. Yeah. Well, Chemo is still a bit that something positive can still happen to the both of them. We are still monitoring our eyes. Our